a big game I land or see Smoking a camel and drinking brandy Hunting big bucks You might think he's nuts But he's better than porn It's still in our a.m. And we are headed on an epic fishing adventure today, folks we're hiking up into a pond or a remote location. It's about an hour hike. We're going for the night. We're gonna try and catch monster brook trout. Going to a pond that's got only native fish in it. Never been stocked. There's some nice brookies in here. We know they're in there. They're just harder than hell to catch. So we're gonna go up in here and drive up for a couple days and try and catch us at least one good one up in here. There ain't gonna be a lot of fish on this episode, but Got plenty of rigging, plenty of booze. First trip I've been fishing in six weeks. Gonna base them. Ought to be Battle a good out. episode. Battle! Yeah! Can't have a paved highway everywhere you go now. <laughs> Father told me that long ago. Well, folks, we made it into the rendezvous point. We met up with the rest of the crew here. It's about 7 o'clock, and we're all hooking into our first beer. Cracked into the first beer, that was unintentional, pouring it all down over myself, but got the camera, we're going to try and get us a good episode today, we're going into a trophy pond, never been stocked before, it's really nice brook trout in here, when you do happen to catch one, today is not going to be packed full of catching fish, that's for damn sure, but hopefully we're going to be able to show you a wall banger before the trip is through, if nothing else, we're going to catch a great big old buzz on. Folks, just, I mean, have a look at the rigging. We're up in here, miles. We're miles from a road. You can't even hear a Mack truck go by. Jake Brake fucking squealing. You can't hear it. We're up in the sticks. And look at the rigging we brought. I mean, just... I mean... Just us here, folks. Up in this pristine Just wilderness of Maine. Gonna try and catch some native brook trout. Yo, you got bait fish coming after. We're gonna, we're gonna catch, we're gonna catch some fucking fish. I mean, a damn buzz on is what I was gonna say. There we go. Sorry, I had little bait fish swimming around my line, got me all flustered there for a second. Yes, folks. If we don't catch any fish, we will catch a buzz on. That is guaranteed on this well, episode. Well, we had to hike up in here, just about two miles or so. And had to pack light, so we couldn't pack ice. But for those of you who know, you know what that is. For those of you you don't, who don't, if you watch enough Dylan Outdoors, you will know what that is. First one. Got all the poles out. We're going to get trolling here. Going to drink us a few of them today. Gonna try and catch us some fish. We gotta get paddling though. We're gonna be hung down. Cause we are under no. We are under again manpower. Nothing but manpower today. Paddling all day, fucking long. Complete nightmare. But we gotta get going. Can't. We gotta shut the camera off quick. Cause we ain't got time to do that bullshit. We gotta paddle. Or we're gonna be hung your down. first appearance ever on Dylan Outdoors. Show the fans what you caught. Jeez, I mean, what a beautiful bluegill. I mean, just an absolute beautiful bluegill. That right there is a southern bluegill fish right there. If you were down south, them boys down there, they'd pump air fish, just be pumped, absolutely pumped up that they caught that bluegill. Up here in Maine, we don't give a fuck. We call them sunfish. Them really good. We call them sunfish, really and we hate them. Bluegill up here in Maine. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Hammer it home. Fuck them bluegill. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta drink something. There. Oh. oh my god. It's 70 degrees. Warm. Beautiful. 
probably the most relaxing conditions a man could possibly think of. Up in a remote pond without a soul around, Dave Simmons is probably humped up inside a maple tree somewhere in there. I don't know, but as far as I'm concerned, there's no one around. It's just absolutely gorgeous, flat ass calm. I mean, just, you can't beat it with an 18 inch piece of rubber hose. You couldn't beat it right now. I mean, it's just awesome. And no, we're not catching many fish, but I just had to turn the camera on for a minute right now to just bring you folks in on how beautiful this is. Captain Chris sitting in the stern. Loving life. I mean, nothing but black water behind him. Just black it's water. Beautiful out here, folks. It just—it's it, a very scenic pond. They—we fish a couple of the lakes that they claim are the clearest in the state, and Tunk Lake being one of which. And this—this uh, this pond, this lake here is. Uh, it's, it's so much clearer, it's ridiculous. I mean, and look at this landscape. Look up behind that pan up there, Dill. I mean, it's... Zooming right in on it. Nice. Just, I mean, the shoreline even here, look how rugged that is. I mean, it's... I it's, mean, look at that. That's a 15 to 18 foot just bluff ledge right there, folks. It drops off. Pond, you could die right there. It's enough water. I really would like oh, to yeah. think that Dylan Outdoors would do show us something off that. We ain't catching many fish, but we're determined to make a good Dylan Outdoors episode. So here I go, I'm climbing an unknown ledge, uncharted territory, gonna jump off, gonna bail right off the top of that mother effer. Here I go, just like a spider monkey. Just like a fucking spider monkey, folks! Dylan Outdoors 2011! Woohoo! Just say that we're we're giving it an A for. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Folks, that is a total of seven lines fishing. Looks just like a spider web. Coming. I mean, just like a spider web coming at you. <laughs> don't, don't stand a chance. I mean, we are trying. We are doing our damnedest to catch us in Maine. We fish right for brook trout, salmon. That, that's the prize fish up here. It ain't so much the bass like it is down south. So, one of the major, major, one of the very best baits used to catch good brook trout and salmon is a sewn on minnow and this is how you do it okay simple basic bait needle here we got like eight pound fly tippet tight line i don't know maybe two and a half three feet of it here that's a sure set hook they get that one protruding hook really increases hook sets good stuff it works well See, this here is, I think it's a fall fish, it looks like here, kind of like an emerald china, but a larger version. Start right here in his ass, go right up through with that needle, about his mouth. You still got your line connected, and you feed that right up through. You get it, you know, you get it right, it'll come through nice and smooth, and they'll stay alive long as you Swing and think. turn and go down this shore here, Rob, uh, a little bit. Mm. You slide the line all the way up to that treble hook, feed that right in. Just like that there. Put the treble hook right in its ass. Yep, right in. Snug her up. So you still got that one hook. That's a good opportunity to hook a fish there. So you start right underneath the bottom. I like to come back a ways, not right out on the lips. I like to come back between the eyes, like kind of tips the minnow up a slight bit. Pull it up through the head, and that'll cinch down tight, and you can see if it's coming off the middle of his nose there. And he's lost a few scales, but 
now. I'll tell you so. It is what it is. We got us a cute little boat here, and we've got us lines fishing in the water in the pond where we know giant brook trout live and that's the point i mean you you're not going to catch them unless you put the bait in front of them and we're just hoping we happen to put the bait in front of one of them one of the ones you know that you put on the wall that memories are made of the reason we give it or the reason we wake up at 3 a.m the reason we drive a two and a half three hours before daylight <laughs> just to fucking go out onto a frozen barren wasteland and bear the elements and that the one that's why we go that's why everybody goes it is it's the drive thing force behind what keeps us going and loving the outdoors the way we do and that's what we're after today we may not catch many but you're never gonna catch him if you don't give it a try how we doing folks oh jeez. I have never experienced anything quite like this. Boy, I tell you what, folks. Captain Curse, he's been, he's been struck. He got numbed. He got bit by something that's got some poison in it. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it is, but he ain't doing good. I ain't even lying. You know? I mean, jeez. I'm suffering a couple symptoms here right now. And as you may very well tell, I got lips that... Uh, I don't know what they look like, but they feel like Dwayne Wayne. It's JT Squizzle, Wayne. our fishing buddy, and I mean, long time fishing partner, loves brook trout fishing, goes after the big ones, knows how it is. If he can catch a fucking brook trout, if there's a brook trout in the mud puddle, he's going to catch it. JT Squizzle right now just caught himself an 18 and a half inch nice female brook trout. Show us, Josh. Oh. Josh, I mean. Oh, wow. Jason, wow. that's 18, that's 19 we come in here for, folks. That's why, wow. we, that's why we battle it out right there. Josh, I mean, I mean, can you get that? Yeah. You got that on yeah. film? Hold that's... it right up there. Oh, oh, wow. Man, what a beautiful Josh, trout. Josh, tell us. Josh, tell us how you feel right now. I mean, oh, that's a that's a beautiful. Oh, I mean, Josh, that's why they it's do a it lot though. of it's a lot of work to get into oh. a spot like this. I mean, how how does it feel though to have it pay right off? Oh, I mean, it's it unbelievable. It's recording, right? There's a red dot going. Oh, uh, we got it recording. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, this is this right here, that's folks. Why this we is come in here, folks. This is this is like right Tread Bada says. I mean, this is why you do the work. You Jeez, put in the water. Hold that thing back out of water. Let's see that Josh, real quick. You're a pretty rugged guy. I mean, his forearms are just about like Popeye. Yeah, that right there, folks, oh, is beautiful. That's a that fat native. What a beauty. I mean, I'm getting pumped out. That is a 19 inch native, four pound. I mean, we're talking giant brook trout right there. I mean, that fish. We let one go earlier, that was three pounds, but we couldn't let this beauty go here. She's going on the wall. That's why we come in here. That's why we do what we do on Dillon Outdoors, is to catch trophies like that there. That is 19 inch, four pound, I mean fat, we're talking look like Tim Thomas. The bitch has got shoulder pads on. I mean, we're talking beautiful trout. That's why we do what we do. Dylan Outdoors, as it's dark, I mean, that's just giving it to us. Well, folks, this is the conclusion to Dylan Outdoors. Up in here in the middle of fucking nowhere. It's 5.30 a.m. Sun's just coming up. It's gonna be a beautiful day. A.T. Squizzle's just waking up. That just getting up, getting the fire going. Captain Chris survived through the swollen face. The Dwayne Wade lip went away. Dwayne. Now I've got the uh, same things happen to my my Still toes. outdoors, <laughs> folks. The conclusion: we caught one nice brook trout. I don't think it was as big as I thought it was last night. Drunk. Play in the big game, I lay in the sea. Smoking a camel, drinking brandy, hunting big bucks, 
might think he's nuts, but he's better than porn. It's Dylan Allen.